Every coach on The Voice is a talented singer, a seasoned performer, and in some cases a flat-out musical legend. The no singing inside and out, they performed with the best, they are the best. So when you can do something to surprise them, you know you're on the right track. That's exactly what happened Monday night when two of Teen Legend's finest went head-to-head -head in a soulful battle for the ages. For his latest battle, coach John Legend matched up Gene Taylor and Ronnie Wilson, both talented singers with soul and R and B in their voices, and gave them Bruno Mars' ballad, When I Was Your Man, to perform. Both of these guys have a great tenor range, which I'm always jealous of, because I don't have it. Legend said of his singers, Gene is a little more polished, and then Ronnie is a bit more stylized. During rehearsals, Taylor in particular struggled just a little bit to get the emotion of the song right, something he attributed to years spent doing gig after gig and simply singing what was in front of him. Together, though, Taylor and Wilson locked into the song, setting up a truly dazzling moment on the battle stage. Watch Gene Taylor and Ronnie Wilson sing Bruno Mars, When I Was Your Man on The Voice Season 25. Both singers came prepared, latching onto the ready-made R and B smoothness of Mars' song to maximize their vocals. They harmonized well, they sang solo well, and of course, both let loose some thrilling high notes, including one from Taylor so powerful that made Coach Chance, the rapper, literally cry out in astonishment. In the end, while the coaches all had plenty to say, it was the high notes that kept them all talking. Gene, I loved your vibrato. Your tones were wonderful and warm and Ronnie, I loved your tone also, Coach Reba McIntyre said. And y'all are crazy on those high notes. Woo, John, you're gonna have a hard time. When you hit that vibrato, I was like that's the most perfect vibrato I've ever heard, Coach Dan Smyers said. Coach Shea Mooney added, there were some notes that you were hitting that I don't think are legal in California. When asked who they preferred in the battle, McIntyre favored Taylor, as did Mooney, while Smyers decided to split the Dan plus Shea Duo's decision and backed Wilson. In Chance's case, he went with Taylor just because I need the ability to be able to steal him later. Then, it was up to Legend. Though he couldn't say enough good things about both vocalists, Legend chose the more polished Taylor, which sent Wilson home after no one opted to steal. Gene is such a great singer, Legend said. He's got a beautiful, pure voice. His tone is so rich. Gene is a great fit for the voice. We're gonna work with him and get ready for the knockouts.